Okay, today I'm gonna be changing out our water heater. It's in pretty bad shape. Cover rusted off, just fell off. It's been leaking water. Gonna do the replacement, it should be pretty simple. One, two, three, four connections. All right, four and then the vent. So, step one though, and then we need to drain the hot water heater, get all the water out, and that's the drain. So I'm gonna put the garden hose up to it, drain it out first. I already do have the water turned off. That'd be smart. Just to say turn off the water, and then I'll turn off the gas next, right here too. Okay, I have it the hot water heater draining now. I actually got the typical garden hose hooked up to it. And then all you do is turn this gray piece counterclockwise, it opens it up. And then you wanna make sure you turn your vent on here or else it'll take forever for the water to come out if you don't have an air, an air vent. So you can turn your air vent on. I also could disconnect it here. And, or you can also disconnect your water lines. I've also already disconnected the gas part. So finish draining it, disconnect these two over here, bring the new one in, and then of course reconnect everything. Okay, I got the heater out, everything disconnected. It's pretty nasty underneath the heater. So yeah, I'm gonna do some cleanup. Got the bulk of it there. Wipe all this down, clean all this up, get it all nice and ready. Then we'll go get the new one, take it out the box and start seeing what we need to do. All right. Got the old one out. I got the new one in. I'm gonna have to cut the exhaust pipe a little bit. This one, I thought it was the exact same. It's not, it's a little taller. It's supposed to be the same size though. Kinda got everything fitted in, like where that's gonna go. Cold, hot. Gas. It's a tight fit. Boom. So I uh, need to take a piece off the old one to get this connected and get a hacksaw, cut this here and then connect these guys back up, connect the gas back up, turn the water back on, turn the gas back on, and then we should be good to go. All right, so I got the vent connected. It didn't take that long, 10 minutes or so. And I used this, I started it with a hacksaw then used the sawzall. I know it's not perfectly straight, right? It's not, but it'll work. It'll work. It's like totally, it's nicely seated in there. There's no uh, exhaust fumes that are going to get inside here, inside this room. So it will exhaust just fine. There we go. I got to hook up the gas still. Now I got the gas on. Pilot. There's my um, striker. I'll hit it in just a second. And um, show you down here too. Like no spark. Okay, I now have the replacement completely installed and the paint work done. Gas hooked back up here, got the cover on, the brass fitting here that I had to get for the overflow, hot and cold water hooked up, and then the vent connected, and it works great. Other than having to bring the other one back because it wasn't working, everything went smooth and a little inconvenient, but at the end of the day, got a new water heater in and it works great.